Hey guys, so today I thought that I would film a monthly favourites video because I think I missed last month's and I don't do them strictly kind of every single month throughout the year because I don't try that much new stuff and it would be really boring because I'd be like, I'm still using this cleanser and I'm still using this, but I do love to film them quite a lot throughout the year to tell you guys things that I've kind of discovered throughout the past month and what I've really enjoyed using. Um, I'm going to have some beauty bits, fashion bits, random bits, food, a little bit of everything in here. And also I have something really big to show you guys and kind of tell you guys at the end of this video. So stay tuned for that. Sounds like someone just did like a triangle. Um, you know, like those little things you have in school, in the school play. Someone does a triangle. Anyway, it's raining cats and dogs outside and I'm loving it. I know that some people hate the rain and it's just like ugh. I did get stuck in it earlier today and I wasn't enjoying it then but now that I'm all cozy and indoors and like filming got a candle on I am loving the rain and so rain can be my first favorite although I've had so much sun in the last month so it's not really a favorite anyway I'm talking rubbish let's move on I'm going to start with a product that I have been loving I'm slightly concerned that you guys are going to be completely bored of hearing about because I feel like everyone on YouTube has been talking about this but it is the Naked Urban Decay Naked Heat Palette. I'm gonna show you inside. Oh, lost my brush. This is the inside. Um, I just think that these colors are so beautiful. When I was younger and I used to collect MAC palettes and collect all the different colors, some of my favorite colors were like cranberry and coppering and all those kind of rich, high shimmer, really orangey, bready tones. And there's so many in here that are like that. Um, I have been using the most the colour Lumbra, or Lumba, I don't know how you say it, this one here, um, is really, really gorgeous, and to be honest, I only discovered this, I found it in my PO box towards, the, I think it was the end of the month, but ever since it's been in my possession, I've just been like, oh, it's so nice, it's been encouraging me to wear more eyeshadow, because I've been quite boring with my makeup recently. Saying that, today I have just got on the colour Toast through my crease and no other eyeshadow on my lid um, from my um, birthday suit palette from Tiny Bird Cosmetics. But I promise you, I have been wearing more eyeshadow throughout the last month and this palette has been making me do it. It's just got, it's got some really good like lighter shades, really good warm contour shades. And I haven't actually worn Ember yet, but I feel like Ember and Ashes, you could do, check out those ones. You could do the most amazing like night out I with that so I'm definitely gonna do that next time I go out somewhere um, or need to do an evening makeup look. Still on beauty, this blush, do you know what, just before um, I filmed this video I had to go online and check that this was still available because not that I wouldn't feature something in a favourites video that's not available um, but I know it's frustrating if I'm like oh my god I've been loving this and then you guys want to get it and you can't because it's like really old. However, this is still available. Um, what's it called? Charlotte Tilbury Norman Parkinson Colour of Youth. I think Colour of Youth is the colour. And look how gorgeous the packaging is. The reason why I had to check is because I've had this for so long and I worried that it wasn't in stock anymore. Look how pretty it is. Honestly, guys, it's something that has been in my makeup collection. I've got it all over me. Um, it's been in my makeup collection for about, well, ever since it launched, I think it was sent to me when it launched, maybe two years ago, and it's something that when I go to, like, clear out products, I would never get rid of this until it's, like, old and gross and I can't use it anymore because it's just the most flattering cream blush colour. I did have it on this morning, however, and I did my makeup so nice this morning, I was like, oh, I really love my makeup today and took my time doing because I knew I was filming a video and stuff. Then I went to the dentist and... You know when they spray water in your mouth and use the suction thing? I think the girl who was doing the suction thing was not that good at doing the suction thing. And I literally had water spraying all over my face. So when I got home, I had to quickly shove on concealer and powder ready to film this video. Um, and I didn't bother touching my blush. So I don't know if you can really see it right now. Um, let's talk about concealer. Um, okay, so... I have, I must have bought about three of these because I was sh stupidly shopping online for them, trying to find the right colour for myself for the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. I finally found the right one, it's Med, Med Light Warm. And I really, really wanted to get this because so many people have recommended it, like Lily um, recommends it, I think Anna does as well. I really trust those guys for their rec beauty recommendations. Um, and yes, lots of people have been going crazy about this. It's called the Weightless Complete Coverage Concealer. 
and although my skin overall is pretty good I do I have bad pigmentation on my top lip um, which I actually have um, been to a dermatologist about recently and I'm going to get some cream for to sort it out and if it works I'll tell you guys because last time I mentioned that loads of you commented being like I have that too and nothing works and I don't know what to do so if this cream I've got works I'll let you know and do like a little update on my top lip skin um yeah so I like to conceal there but also I get redness around my nose I've got kind of those um you know like thread veins that come to the surface I have those around my nose and then I get the odd spot like at the moment I think I've got one like there but other than that I don't need much coverage on my face so I tend to wear tinted moisturizer but then I do like a really full coverage concealer to sort out those little problem areas and I've been using Collection Lasting Perfection for ages and also the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. And I just kind of wanted to change it up, like especially doing my job when you get to try loads of new products all the time and tell you guys about them. It's so boring that I've been using the same two concealers for years. So recently I've been trying out this and trying to get the perfect colour. However, it has been quite hard to find the perfect colour and this one still, I sometimes still think I can see it on my skin. Then literally yesterday, I was going through things I've been sent to my peer box and I've got two colours because they sent me two, but the colour sand is the one I've been using. Been using, literally tried out yesterday and then wore it, put it on again this morning. But I'm so impressed that I want to put it in this video. This is the Bobbi Brown, um, what's it called? Instant Full Cover Concealer. So, by the way, sorry, this dress is quite low, but I didn't really have the right kind of top to go underneath it, so... You can just see a bit of my bra, apologies for that. Um, yeah, so this concealer, um, when you open it, it almost looks like it's starting to dry out or something because it's not very liquidy, but I think that's what makes it so amazing. And I put it on this morning, as I say, the dentist washed all my makeup off earlier, but um, it looked so amazing. And I used it yesterday as well, and just, I was so impressed, and I wonder whether I'm gonna end up using this more than my Urban Decay one. Um, yeah, anyway, just wanted to do a bit of a shout out to that concealer. I have a lip gloss favourite, which might come as a little bit of a surprise for you guys, because all year I feel like I've been wearing matte things on my lips, or just lip balm, or I've been literally just doing lip liner all over my lips, and that's kind of been my thing for the last kind of six months. However, throughout the last month, every now and then I've just thought, you know what, I fancy feeling slightly more glam and, and feeling a bit more like, oh, I've just put on some lip gloss. Um, and this is the lip gloss I've been using. It's from my Tanya Bird Cosmetics range. Um, by the way, when I show you guys stuff from my own range, sometimes I feel like, oh no, I don't want to annoy people by like talking about my own stuff. But of course I'm gonna like my own stuff because I designed it. So um, this was kind of like a rediscovery for me because obviously this, is, this color has been out for ages in this formula. It's in the color Just Peachy. And I will swatch it for you because I love it so much. But yes, I only ever feature my own products and show you guys if I genuinely have been using them loads. So this is just such a pretty, like, pale, peachy pink. It almost reminds me of the colour of MAC Hue, the lipstick, but in a lip gloss form. And... Oh, it just smells yummy like watermelons and it's really moisturizing and nice on your lips and I've just been loving this like a dark brown smoky eye. So as you guys will know if you follow my Instagram already, um, last month I was in Malibu for a few days celebrating one of Jim's sister's birthdays, um, Sam's 40th birthday, which was so fun and it was just so nice to like be with Sam and Nick and like use each other's products and well Sam's bedroom was downstairs, she had her own bathroom so I wasn't really sharing products with Sam. However, Nick and I, Jim's other sister Nick, Nick and I were sharing a bathroom which meant that we could try out each other's products and I said to her, I was like, oh my god you have to try my Origins Ginseng Cleanser, I always make everyone try that because I love it so much. And then she said to me, she was like, I tried your cleanser and she was like, I liked it, it smelled amazing but it's not as good as my cleanser. Um, when, she's, when we say cleanser we mean like exfoliating cleanser that you use like in the morning and she told me to try hers and I tried it and it was so amazing and then she gave me her cleanser and just said she had another one at home which was very nice of her and this is it it's by a brand called Intraceuticals it's called an enzyme exfoliant which means it has those little things in it that like eat away at your dead skin so it really means that when you put on your products your serums and moisturizers they really get into your skin so much better this is just like really brightened my skin up, made my skin surface so smooth, 
and I feel like because it has more, obviously I'm still loyal to my Origins Ginseng Cleanser, I still love it, but this one I would use maybe like two mornings a week because it's a bit more intense and it has the beads that are really small and lots of them, they're much more closer together than in the Ginseng Cleanser, that they get in the little holes, like in there. Um, not up there in in like the creases. I don't really like touch my makeup So this is just a product that I just have in the shower and I'm so thankful to Nick for one for giving me this But also just for introducing me to it because it's such a nice brand. and I've never even heard of them before Okay, that is it for makeup and skincare. So I don't have loads of stuff although I feel like I've rambled loads. I've got one body product This I got for my birthday and I haven't actually used it loads um, because I like to be quite sparingly, like save it, and then the other day I was like, I'm just going to use it. Um, this is the Laura Mercier uh, Ombre Vanille Honey Bath. Oh, actually, now that it's sunk down, I've used it until about there. So I have used some, but not too much, because I really like it to last. This stuff just smells so amazing. Oh, and the last week in particular, I think I've had like three baths with this in. It creates amazing bubbles. I know I've talked about this on my channel before because I think I actually, I always end up getting one of these or sometimes the mini trio if it's Christmas time for either my birthday or Christmas, then it tends to last me. I'm very lucky that way that my birthday's in June. So if there's something that you tend to run out of every six months, I can just always get it for my birthday or Christmas. And then it's kind of like I've always got one on the go. But yes, this just feels so luxurious and if I've been having like a crazy day and I just really need to relax, I love just putting this in the bath, lighting a ton of candles and I've actually got the body wash that goes with this and so I feel like I can really like embrace the scent and just like put it all over me and I've got the body cream as well but it's the bubble bath that's just been making me feel really like cosy and happy and it's just so nice. Moving on to my fashion favourite, it's more of kind of like a, a look that I've been wearing recently and it's literally been for pure comfort because it's been so warm um, throughout the past month. Obviously I've been spending, I spent time in LA and I was on holiday in Italy so I don't know if it was really warm all the time in the UK, I'm probably saying it and you guys are like no it's not, it's been horrible. Um, but anyway, whilst the weather has been nice throughout the summertime, I have been loving putting on, and actually even throughout like June and July I was doing this loads, wearing little like short shorts that are high-waisted and like a cottony material like just quite a loose material or oh, i think someone's about to come to my door um with slides um which i know i've been a huge trend recently but i can just see why and i'm so glad that they're in fashion right now because they are just so comfortable and so easy literally if you want to run out of the door if i'm just like walking the dog or like popping to the shops i just love sticking them on and for me the combination of tucking like a little t-shirt or vest into comfortable shorts and then slipping on my slides just feels like it keeps you cool it looks cute and it's so comfortable there's my doorbell I told you there was someone at my door i'm just gonna have to quickly get that wait here two seconds i'll show you my shorts thank you very much okay i'm back now i can show you guys so basically one of these pair of shorts i am going to be annoying and show you something that i've had for like five years possibly I actually think I might have had these shorts for like six years, I'm not even joking. So they're not available anymore, but don't worry, the second pair are. Um, so these little shorts I have had for so long. They're from Topshop and they're Topshop Petite. I don't know why I'd have bought them in Petite because I'm not Petite. Um, oh, I feel like they might have been like in the sale or something, you know, and you end up just buying stuff from like the tall or Petite or even maternity section, even if you're none of those things just because you like it and it's in the sale, I definitely do that. Anyway, these are the shorts. I just love the material of them. I think the pattern is so cute. They are such a nice cotton material. They have cute little bits to the side. Let me try and show you. Like that, so they hang really nicely on your legs. I also think the shorts are flattering when they have bits that go up there. Um, yeah, and they're high-waisted and they're very short shorts. So those are one pair that I've literally been wearing non-stop and I just wear them every summer. Then I bought a new pair from this new brand that I'm loving that I haven't really heard of before. They're called Faithful. Um, aren't these just so gorgeous? I was wearing them yesterday and put them on my a picture of my outfit on my Instagram story and lots of you were being like, oh my God, these shorts, I love them. Um, and I love them too. And they're basically the exact same style as the ones I just showed you. They're high-waisted, very short um, and just look super cute 
with slides. So I'm gonna show you my little slides collection. So I've got three pairs that I've just been kind of like rotating and I love them all. I've got the classic Adidas ones. I feel like everybody has these. And also everybody needs these, honestly. I get so much wear out of these. Th these ones are my airport shoes, so I always wear these for flights. Um, obviously when I'm on the flight, I put my fluffy socks on, but just getting through an airport in summertime, probably don't wear them in wintertime in the airport. Um, and when they're like, oh, now you have to take your shoes off. Cause I have this bracelet that's um, screwed onto my wrist. So I always go off in the beeper and I can't get it off. So they always make me take my shoes off. So slides are the one. Um, I've got these ones from Topshop, which I just love for when you want something that feels a bit more dressy. I just think these are so, like this is just so decadent and beautiful. And then I've got these ones, which annoyingly, they're my most expensive ones and the ones I've got the least wear out of. These are by a brand called Vince. Like, I always reach for the other ones first. They have um, a black leather bit and then a big black fluffy bit coming across here. So I guess these are the most dressy, I guess, because with the fluff on them, it's faux fur, obviously. So yeah, that's been my little kind of go-to look recently. It just feels very comfortable and cool and nice. Some months when I'm filming a favourites video, I have to really think, I'm like, what is my food favourite? And I'm like, oh, I eat all the same stuff all the time. I don't have like a new food discovery or something that I've just been addicted to. The past month, however, I have ordered an embarrassing amount of snog frozen yogurts. Um, there's an app called Quick Up that I use and I've deleted it off my phone to stop myself ordering the snog frozen yogurt. And then when I want one, I'll just re-download the app. It's so annoying that I couldn't film this video without putting in snog frozen yogurt. If you don't know what snog is, it's, I think they named the brand that just because it's kind of funny. Cause if someone's like, oh, I really fancy a snog. And I think that's like one of their taglines is I fancy a snog. And people who don't know what snog is, as in the frozen yogurt, think that you're actually meaning you just want a big slob kiss. But anyway, snog is a frozen yogurt um, brand. I don't know if it's outside of London. I think it's just in London, but they have them in like the Westfields. They have one in like um, Soho, High Street, Kensington. I don't know if there's one in East London. Um, but anyway, I can order it on an app to my door and I've just been addicted to it. Like. I've been eating pretty healthy recently. Obviously I do have like cheat days and things like that, but in general, I've been keeping my diet quite healthy throughout the summertime. But when it gets to like 8 p.m. and me and Jim are watching a TV show and we just fancy something sweet about twice a week, we'll be, we'll look at each other and be like, is it time for a snog? I think so. I actually ended up ordering one of these last night and I was so glad that I remembered that I was filming this video today and that it was on my favorites list to talk about. So I filmed it on my iPhone last night and it's quite like dark and rubbish footage, but I just thought I'd film it so you guys could actually see what I was talking about because it's not something that I can like pick up and show you. Um, because one, I wouldn't really order one in the middle of the day and two, it would just melt if I ordered it and tried to show you it in a video. So anyway, I'm gonna insert that clip now and then you can see um, what I'm talking about basically and how great it is. It's 8 p.m. on a Tuesday evening and I have just ordered a snog frozen yogurt. And I know that this is going in my monthly favorites video so I thought that I would film it and show you guys because I won't be able to have one when I'm actually filming the video. So this is how it comes. And then you take the lid off. Ooh. And then this is my frozen yogurt. So um, I have chocolate frozen yogurt. The toppings I have are these kind of like little mini M&M slash smarty things brownies and marshmallows but as you can see you don't have too much brownie and marshmallows so it's not that bad and this is the kind of size fix that's it in my hand there we go so those are all of my favorites i love filming this video honestly there's something about filming favorites videos that makes me so happy i feel like whoever came up with this concept on youtube must have made it for me although it was before I was on YouTube, so they definitely didn't. But um, but anyway, I just really kind of thrive off talking about things that I love. So I enjoyed this. Hope you guys did too. Now for my news. Um, as you guys know, I have been working on my Christmas book, Tanya's Christmas, which comes out on October the 19th this year. I've been working on it all year, 
very intensely. It's kind of taken over my life. And right now I've just completely finished on it. And I'm quite excited to kind of have a break from Christmas for like two weeks. And then I'm gonna to be totally back on it again because it's gonna be the build up to Christmas happening soon. Anyway, today is a very, very exciting day because there are so many things. I need to remember everything I need to tell you guys. I haven't even written this down. So I'm just gonna to have to like rack my brains and remember everything I need to tell you, all the exciting things. So first thing is, today is the day that I get to show you guys the cover of Tanya's Christmas. I am so happy with it. I feel like it looks so cute and it really shows like all the different parts of the book um which i think is really important because some people might see that title and be like tiny's christmas what is that even about um but it really shows you like the crafts the baking the interiors the lifestyle like the family memories like everything that's in there um i probably missed a ton of things by the way but i'm just i just love the cover so much i'm so happy with it so i'm going to put it up on the screen now there is the cover, so you guys can have a little look at it. Um, right, I'm taking it off the screen now. Don't worry, I'm now about to tell you um, where you can go and like look at the cover for longer than two seconds. So the next exciting thing is that I have been busy signing lots and lots of copies of the book so that you guys can pre-order signed copies. Obviously there are a limited amount because I, otherwise I would literally just be sat here all day every day signing books if I signed the amount that you guys wanted. So um, I would, be fairly quick if you want a signed one. I'm going to put the link to everything in the description box of this video. So signed copies are available as of right now. The third exciting thing, there are so many things, sorry if I'm like overloading you guys, but honestly, the fourth thing is going to make you think, oh my God, thank God. I don't need to remember everything she just said because I can go and see it somewhere. Um, okay, so the third thing is that my book tour tickets are going on sale today as well. So you've literally got the cover reveal, the book tour tickets and the pre-order signed copies all today. Bam, there you go. With the help of Blink, my amazing book publishers, um, we have created a really cool website that's just like super festive and amazing. And it's the Tanya's Christmas website. This will be linked in the description box. So go and click and have a look. And basically on there, you can see the book cover, you can click the link to go through and pre-order a signed copy. You can also click another link and get book tour um, tickets. So everything is all in one place on this website. Um, that's all on one side of it. It'll be this side for you guys. Then on the other side of the website is an advent calendar, which is super exciting. It's, it's a countdown calendar up until the release date of the book and I have done exclusive content, especially for this website. So when you guys click on the doors and when the doors become available, you'll be able to see all kind of exclusive content. Like sometimes it will be a video of me talking. Sometimes it'll be like a recipe. There's gonna be competitions on there where you can win like FaceTimes with me and I'll literally like sit in my living room on FaceTime with some of you, um, which I have done once before and I actually requested that because um, the guys at Blink, the publishers, they were like, we wanna do a competition element on the website. And they were like, what would you like to do? And I said that in the past, I'd done this one competition. I don't actually even remember what it was for, whether it was with a brand or like for my last book or something. But anyway, someone won a FaceTime with me and I just absolutely loved it. It was like so, so enjoyable. And we literally just stood there chatting. It felt really intimate. Like they were like, are you sure you don't want to Skype? Um, and I said, no, because actually FaceTime felt nicer because I'm literally just like holding my phone and. I FaceTime is what I do with like my mum or like Jim if we're apart from each other and it just felt really nice to get to FaceTime one of you so I'm rambling I'm sorry I'm going to end this video now so I'm just going to round it up by saying it's a very exciting day for Tanya's Christmas this has been something that I have just been working so hard on this year and I honestly think that you guys are going to love it so Go and enjoy the website um what you can access of it so far obviously there's lots of things that you won't be able to access on there yet and you'll have to like bookmark it on your computer and keep kind of coming back to it um go pre-order a signed copy go get your book tour tickets and yeah i hope you're having a great day and i will see you in my next video bye guys